Many people have asked me about how you expand the multi-panel, so I thought I'd shoot a quick video and walk you through some of the expansion options you have. So this is the multi-panel as found in the starter kit. If I add some power, you have your first 24 LEDs and buttons installed. So what you can do is you can add an LED expansion board such as this and add another 24 LEDs and you can add another 24 way button board as well which will give you another 24 buttons and you can do this all the way up till you hit 192 servos. So let's see how they hook up. This board, the LED board, also has a pop-on test board. So if I clip it on here you can see the LEDs work. So there's another 24 LEDs. Now in this box, when it arrives, you'll find another bunch of cables. So it'll look something like this. What you'll have are two cables with a plug on each end. This is for the, the data and the power. And you'll have nine cables with a single plug on each end, which will wire to your own LEDs. If we take the power cables and connect one to the power in socket, which is the second one down, make a note of how it's gone in. I've used the white on the outer edge to the left. And then with the multi-panel, what I can do is I'll connect it to one of the four sockets here with the connector and the same orientation. So I've got the white to the left. That's my power hooked up, so this will now take its power from the multi-panel. The second cable will go to the LED expansion socket 1. And I'll bring that down to the top connector, which is labelled data in. Take note of the orientation again. I have the white lead on the left going to the white lead on the left. And at the top of the connector it says DLC. And on the expansion board, we also have DLC, so we want to make sure we have them lined up. So this now gives me indication of 48 points. Let's also add in the push button board. So here's the button test board, or the button board. I'll pop on the test board. So that I can test it on the bench, so there's another 24 push buttons. And it's very similar again. I have a data connection. Data out goes at the top. It's the buttons that transmit the data. It's the LEDs that receive it. And I'll connect this to the switch expansion board here at the bottom on the left. So again, noting the orientation, connect. Now with the power, I've got a couple of choices. I'll connect the power to the button expansion board and I, I can either connect the other end of this directly to the multi-panel or I can daisy chain it with the power out connector which I'll do here. And the reason I've given you choice here is it may simplify or reduce the amount of cables you have running inside your panel. So let's turn it on. So I have my first 24 here and my second 24 here. So you can see on this test panel that as I press the buttons, I'm turning the respective LED on for channels 25 to 48. Let's turn some of these off. There we go, put them all. So in this configuration I've now expanded the multi-panel to 48 point control. The multi-panel also has another trick up its sleeve in that at the moment I'm turning an LED on or off to indicate whether a point has been set or not. But you'll have noticed on my panel that I sometimes have two indicators to indicate whether a route is straight ahead or turned. And this is an option that you can have with the LED board. If I remove the button board, just to simplify what I'm showing you, here I have this connected 
to the LED expansion one socket. So this is indicating the next 24 LEDs, one to 24 here, 25 to 48 here. If I connect this instead from LED one expansion one to LED expansion two, it's now displaying the complement of the first bus. So this is now number one down, and if I turn this one on, this one will go off. So this gives me the ability to add two LEDs to every output. So as this one turns on, this one will turn off. And if I reverse it, you can see the reverse. This one has turned off, this one has turned on. Using this on the complementary bus, it allows you to indicate straight ahead and when you have a set of points turned as well, as you require. Obviously, if this is a feature you don't need, you can save yourselves the £15 of the expansion board.